Hey there, John Morris here. I'm a developer here at Wishlist Products and a blogger over at johnmorrisonline.com. And in this video, I'm going to cover how to create a level using the Wishlist member API. And I'm going to show you both the internal and external methods for doing that. So without too much more of an introduction, let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, first, I want to co cover a little bit of the setup so you can kind of understand what's going on here in the code. So here at the top, the, you'll notice that I have both an external section and an internal section. We're going to kind of cover each in turn. And I'm going to start with the external section. You'll notice that in both of these I kind of have a chunk of code up here. And what that is doing is essentially creating our level and then we're developing our output from that. And you'll see I'm doing that externally here. I'm doing that internally here. And then this second chunk of code that you see here and here is uh, I'm just getting a list of all of the levels so that we can see that once we've created the level then now it's showing up in our list so that's just kind of something to show you for uh, the demo purposes and then down here is where I'm actually printing both of those okay so again that's all just for demo purposes the main thing that you're, you're going to be concerned about with creating levels are the top two chunks of of code here and we'll kind of dive into those throughout this video all right so let's go ahead and talk about the external request method first. Again, as with all the other tutorials, um, I, I'm not required because I'm inside of WordPress and the latest versions of Wishlist Member have the WLLM API class already inside of Wishlist Member. I don't need to require that file, so I'm not doing that here. It's, it's already there and those methods are already available. So I can go ahead and just start off by instantiating a new WM API class, which, which is what I'm doing here. Again, as usual, I've put the APR URL and API key into uh, constants because they are to an actual site. So obviously don't want to show those here in the demo. Um, so those are just the constants. Again, these are your API URL and API key. Um, you know, if you've worked with the, the uh, wishlist member API at all, then you're familiar with those. Um, we're setting the return format as per usual to PHP and then here's kind of where we start our code on this third line here so you'll notice that the first thing I'm doing is I'm setting up an arguments array and when you create a level the only argument that's actually required is the name of the level okay so I've, I've showed you the minimum kind of setup here I'm gonna go and show you all of the different arguments that you have available it's essentially everything that you have available if you were to go into the back end of WordPress and, and go into Wishlist Member and create a level, but I'm going to show you what those look like and where you can get a list of those. So uh, again, the only one that's required is the name, so that's all I put here for now, and um, we're just calling it API Test Level 1, and then our actual uh, request is the, uh, again, it's the post method. We're using the levels resources just like we did in get levels, but this time instead of the get method, we're using the post method and we're passing in some arguments, which is the arguments that we've set up here. And then we go ahead and unserialize that response and then we're printing that response down here. Now, you'll notice again, uh, this is where I'm just getting a list of the levels. This is actually what we call covered in the get levels video. You notice this is the get method with the resource levels but and no args. So that's getting the levels, but if you want to create one, then you'll just use the post method and you'll need to pass in the arguments. And like I said, the name argument is the only one that's required. Every other one is either auto-generated or optional. All right, so what this is going to do is it's going to create us a new level called API Test Level 1 on our external site. And then it's going to print the response that we get from the API. And then we're going to query it again to get a list of all the levels so we can see it in the list. And we're going to print our both of those down here. So when we run this, what we should actually get is a one uh, kind of array block. And that's going to contain all the information about our newly created membership level. And then we should get a second one that ha has a list of all the levels that now exist on the site. All right, so we'll go ahead and head over here to the site. And I'll go ahead and refresh this page. And we'll give it a second to... It'll connect to the external site, run the request, get the response, so on and so forth. And so you can see here we have our first kind of array chunk. And you'll see that we have our API test level one has been created. 
and you can see then it's going to give you a list of all of the different options that are available or all the different options that are set for this level okay so you can get an idea of of what those are you'll notice that there's also a success entry here set to one if it if this fails of course that'll be set to zero and I'm going to show you that here in just a second uh, our supported verbs these are there in pretty much every API call and then down here is our second array chunk with our list of levels and if you scroll down to the bottom here you can see that we have our API test level here okay so that's really the the down and dirty of creating a level it's really pretty straightforward uh, when you look at it um, and again like I said there's only you know one argument that's really required now what if you want to set up a bunch of different options for the uh, the membership level that you're creating how would you know what arguments to set so if you head over to codex.wishlistproducts.com you're gonna see documentation for the API and you'll see that there is an entry for WM API create level and it's gonna give you all of the different arguments that you can set a description of each whether they're required or not and what the default is okay so you can see things like um, the after login redirect which you can set to a page ID uh, global home page or page ID the after registration the expiry settings uh, sequential upgrade settings if you want to have require email email confirmation admin approval so on and so forth WordPress role remove from all of the options that are available in the back end of wishlist member uh, through the admin interface are also available here in the API so um, you would essentially just come here and you would look through what options you want to set if you don't like what the default is you can change the default and you'll be all set uh, I'll go ahead and link to this page as well below this video so that uh, you don't have to go looking for it but if you head on over to codex.wishlistproducts.com you're going to see documentation for all of the different API functions and classes and so forth so you can get an idea of uh, what's all available alright so uh, again that's how to create a level now um, what happens if there's some sort of error well if we go ahead and refresh this because I'm trying to create the exact same level name um, the API is going to throw an error and so we'll let it go ahead and process that so you see that now our initial array block is an error and it tells you exactly what the problem is so really if you want to check for the success of the the function that you're running or the request that you're running you can really just check the success entry here and it'll be one if it's if it was successful and zero if not and if you get a, a, a fail message then you can go ahead and uh, check the error code and you can either have it create an error log or send you an email or however you want to handle that uh, depending on the circumstances so that's how you can do some uh, success checking here for the requests and then again of course it was just listing the levels that we had um, because we put that in the code All right so that's the external request method now let's go ahead and head on over to and take a look at the internal request method so if we come down here you'll notice that the amount of code is huh, significantly limited or significantly reduced when you're making internal requests again this is the advantage of using the internal request method not to mention um, it, this is going to run a lot faster as well so you notice that we have uh, essentially five lines of code up here to run the request and here it only takes uh, two uh, lines of code to run this request okay so it's really the same idea uh, we're creating an arguments array it's the exact same array that you would use if you were using the external request method um, we're naming this API test level one and then we're calling the WM API create level uh, function and we're passing in those arguments okay so it's behind the scenes doing all the hard work for us and then you'll see down here I'm again calling a list of all the levels so we can see that list now this is not operating on our external site it's operating on our internal site so um, this we don't have this API test level one on our on our on my local site here so this sh request should go successfully so again we're printing everything out down here so let's go ahead and head over and we'll refresh this page and take a look and you're gonna notice that the response that you get is going to be identical because at, at the end of the day all of these requests inside of wishlist member 
query the exact same thing. It's just the way that you get to that point. So you can see we have our uh, array block for our newly created membership level. We have the ID, we have the name, we have all the different options for that level that we could have set if we chose to. Um, supported verbs as always. And then if we go to our list here, you'll see that we now have a lit that membership level in our list. Okay, so again, all the same things in terms of uh, the external request, uh, all the same arguments that are available here on the codex. You know, the same thing will happen if you try to run this again and use the exact same membership level name. It's going to throw that exact same error. It's going to give you the exact same error message and so on and so forth. So really what you're getting back from the API is always the same. It's just a matter of how you get to that point. And if you're doing internal requests, it's obviously much better to use the internal request system. All right, so um, that's how to create a level in Wishlist Member. Um, with the new functions and so on and so forth, it's really pretty straightforward and, and the code is uh, greatly minimized for you doing that. And also those requests are gonna run a lot faster. So uh, try that out, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns and if you have any ideas or suggestions you'd like to see for future uh, videos regarding the API, definitely let me know. I'd like to uh, definitely work your suggestions in to these videos. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you next time.